Hello again, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and I have here a Mark 7 Ford Transit. Inside the vehicle we have the engine malfunction warning started up. We're getting the engine light on and it is in restricted performance. Using my launch Eurotab 3, looking at the codes here we've got a particle filter restriction, two codes for that. This one is through the force limited power. We've got a fuel regulator performance, the customer has been working on the vehicle uh, they've changed the fuel filter yesterday, they've changed the EGR valve, and they've changed the glow plugs. Now if we come over here, the customer now has his own scan tool and he said this code wasn't here yesterday. Um, so if I want to take his word for that, um, but I'm going to let that down to him. What that means is the glow plug circuit and the vaporizer. So the vaporizer itself has its own glow plug. So if we have a look at some of the vaporizers here, I've got, uh, let's just get one of them out. This part here, we have the glow plug, this red wire, that's the glow plug that goes into the vaporizer. And then you've got the fuel line that goes on here, and that injects the fuel out of that little nozzle there. So basically on this one, it's probably got a, a dead uh, glow plug in the vaporizer. But at the moment, he doesn't want me to replace it. Um, again, I'm in one of these situations. I want to do the job right and just replace it, but the customer is not really allowing me to do that. He wants to just try a DPF clean and for me to fix the circuit issue on that by just replacing the fuse. So if we come over to the inside uh, of the engine bay here, you got the fuse box. This yellow fuse here, number 20, is for the vaporizer. And you can see there that that's blown. So we'll put a new fuse in there, we'll clean the DPF, and hopefully he should be okay. But likely his problem might come back because of this. And I've explained that to him, but it, it just, um, you know, people don't want to spend the money on replacing the vaporizer. So we'll do the DPF clean, but hopefully what some people don't understand is if they clean it and they don't fix the causes, you know, the problem comes back, they've then wasted their money. So you're not saving money, you're wasting money really. But, you know, you never know. We'll put a fuse back in it and hopefully it'll be all right. I've told them where the fuse is and to keep an eye on it. If it if the fuse blows again, just call us back and get the vaporizer replaced. So we'll take that out for now and we'll put a new fuse in. And if you look on the diagram there, it is F32, fuse 32. So we'll exit the codes there. We'll go to the data stream. So we're just gonna hold some revs on the vehicle, see if we're getting it up to temperature. See the coolant air is getting up to currently 87 degrees. Uh, DPF pressure. Let's get it on a chart. See where we're peaking up at. So sitting around just under 300 millibars. Uh, let's see how low we can get that to go. Um, we'll see where it's on at idle. Uh, around about 50 millibars at idle. What I'm going to do now is go to the power control functions. I'm just going to test the vaporizer that it's not blocked. This will also switch on the uh, glow plug for that. So we'll, we can then check the fuse after we're finished to make sure that the fuse hasn't blown again. So this is going to prime up the, the vaporizer. This is going to inject fuel into the into the DPF, and if it's working, we should see some smoke coming out of the back. So I'm not sure if you can see there on the mirror. We've got smoke. You can see there. So the vaporizer is working. Now that vaporizer test has been done, we're just going to keep accelerating the van for about five minutes just to burn off any of that vapor fuel that's gone in there. And we don't want it to mess up with the DPF cleaning process. And you can see on these transits that usually when it warms up, the DPF actually gets more blocked the warmer the vehicle gets. So if we go back on the chart there, you can see it's just that little bit higher as it gets warm.
Okay, so I'm using a bottle of the Launch DPF cleaning fluid. Now I'm going to mix that 50% with the water uh, mixture. I'm going to put that into the DPF pressurized gun. So I've got that out here, it's all ready to go. So I've mixed that in the gun, 50% with the fluid, 50% with water to help it oxidize up. Now we're going to get under the van and open up the DPF pressure holes. So we're under the van here, there we have the DPF there. And if we come over here, we've got two hoses. Let's have a look. So we've got one hose here that goes before the DPF, and then the other one comes further down past it. Sorry, we don't have much room to get a good angle here. But uh, we're going to open this clip and just pull off that so we can get the holes removed. Now on my DPF gun, I've just uh, got some fuel line that I uh, attached there and that'll, that will just give me a nice tight seal once I push it over the top of this. That'll just make it nice and tight there so it's not, I'm not going to get any spillages. And I think we're ready to pump the fluid in. Compressor should come on. And I'm going to pump this all in in one continuous squirt. So now we can see that's all out, the hose has gone clear. I know some people love to see this bit. Is she a squirter or is she not? Let's find out. Oh, a little bit. You can see she's clearly a dirty one. We'll just hold that on there until it calms down a bit. So once that's stopped, now we can put the uh, tube back on, because we don't want that foam travelling back up, back up the tube to the to the sensor. Now we can just put that back on. Right now we can get back in the van. I'll start the van up. We'll hold the revs to where it limits out at about just over 3,000 RPM. Okay, we will get the live data back up and running. And let's just keep an eye on the on the pressure levels, see how far down we can get it to drop. I can see there now it's sort of flattening out a little bit. Now it's it's in an acceptable range, but hopefully we can get it a little bit lower. Let's let it idle. Let's see where we go. 16. Now I'd like to get that under 10. And you can see there out the back, you'll see a lot of smoke. You see a big cloud of foam that comes out the back just like that. She is definitely a big squirter, this one. So we'll come out of the data stream for now and we're going to go back into the fall codes. Let's just read these. I'm going to just clear some of them for now. Clear the DTCs. Of course, you'll still get the ones for the DPF come back. If we do a rescan pretty soon, those codes will come back for the DPF. There you go. Now to make those codes disappear, we're going to go to Special Functions, Power Tron, Train Control Modules, uh, Reset the Particle Filter Learned Values, which is basically telling it that the DPF has now been replaced. It's brand new. complete. So now if we go back to the code read again, read the codes. So 
So we've got those codes there. Let's wait till that goes away. Uh, so now we can, sorry, clear the codes again. It's been com completed. Go back, read the codes, and the codes are now cleared. So once the codes are cleared, your engine light should be gone, and you should now get higher revs, just like that. So I need to burn off all the rest of that smoke. And the fastest way to do that is just by bursts of acceleration. So being a typical Ford Transit, it's been a quite stubborn, so we're going to have to do a second uh, clean on it. We'll do the second one while it's running. And we're now sitting in about an inch of water. So here we go, let's start again. Vehicle is now running. We'll get this sprayed in. Okay, let's try that again. We'll watch the uh, pressure now again. So it's come down a little bit to 70. Let's see how low down we can get it. It is coming down slowly. It's just, this last bit is just slows down a bit. So 3000 RPM there, it was idling, uh, topping out at about 70 uh, HPA, and idle there we have about 1.3. Recheck the fuse, we can see it's not blown. So that's it, we've got the pressures down low enough. And we're all finished on that, so we'll see you on the next video.